We're very much looking forward to Rail Live. We would like engineers to come along and talk to us. We'll be looking at sensors in the pipes and how they might be relevant to the rail industry. We're putting innovation on the pipe. What can we use that pipe for? How can we make that work for you? What problem have you got that you want to solve? So it's about innovation for the future with that past understanding and that's what you'll gain as an engineer hopefully talking to us. Aquasbara was established in 2007. We've been operating for 14 years now. We supply the utility companies, the water companies, infrastructure projects such as airports, housing, and then also the rail industry. We provide a very effective drainage product. But I think more importantly, looking into the future, our product has a very low embodied carbon content. And I think that will become very relevant as we move forward into the carbon zero 2050 economy. We've been awarded a grant by Innovate UK and it's part of the Sustainable Innovation Fund in response to COVID. And we're specifically looking at the rail industry and whether University of Birmingham could assist us in starting to explore that market. I'm the lead on the project and we have some research fellows and some PhD students all building up to create new products, but actually new ways of thinking and working in Barry Pipeline Research. The key aspect of the research will be a digital twin of our pipe. We believe that will be the first gravity pipe in the world with a digital twin. That will enable us to exploit the carbon efficiencies of our product uh, through design. You put a pipe in, you add sensing in to match the environment and you monitor it. That additional bit of cost might be only 5% of the cost tells you about the conditions of your product and your environment over its lifetime. And that helps you then save money by your scheduled maintenance and potentially even gain money by not having to pay for the long-term high price repairs after the dramatic event has happened. You're saving against failure, you're saving lives and you're saving costs in terms of remediation and refurbishment. At the moment it's looking fantastic. We've done the lab work, we've already done some trials in the ground under a hall road and we are seeing very positive information. The question mark we still have is how long these sensors will actually work in the ground, longevity. So there's still a way to go but we're, we're making our way there slowly. The better we understand how things perform with sensing and with digital understanding and models we can improve our understanding of everything around the pipe. So we can start to put more recycled materials in, understand how they behave so they're safe. Also means that the material around it, we don't have to put virgin backfill in, quarried material. We can rework the material on site, it stays on site. Carbon reduction in the footprint of the transport, less materials, less work, saving energy, saving water, reduced transport. Everything is a sustainable goal and improves the life cycle and sustainability of that particular construction site. We will move forward over the next five, 10 years through our research and development. As part of that research and development, we have to communicate with our stakeholders. And we want to be talking to the rail industry about their applications and how our pipe will suit the problems that they're faced with. And the long-term goal is that industry and the scientists and academia pull together and hopefully solve some of the problems that our rail industry and the transport industry has suffered from for 100 years and shouldn't suffer from for the next 100 years.